Yo, what's up guys, the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is another DNA bomb. Today what I have is like a 4 minute one on the map Horizon, playing some Kill Confirmed. And Horizon is actually a really beast map. It's funny that some people hate this map. I really do love it. Uh, this is my second upload of the day, another DNA bomb. And uh, I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. You can check out my earlier upload, which is How to Rush in Advanced Warfare. And if you guys want to support this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you guys don't want to, it's no biggie. But, uh, you know, I, I do appreciate all the likes, and my channel's been doing really well lately. So basically... I know a lot of gameplays pretty much the bow is the best gun by far in this game So every game plays with it pretty much But I do have some other DNA bombs with different guns AK-12 and stuff like that And I want you guys to leave in the comment section below um, What assault rifle or actually any gun But I'm most likely going to be using assault rifles Do you want me to go for a DNA bomb with? Uh, leave that down in the comment section below Because obviously on YouTube we're going to see a ton of ball gameplays. Obviously, every world record is going to be with this gun. I mean, the thing just melts. It's basically like a honey badger from um, Call of Duty Ghost, but like an upgraded version of it. It melts people at close range. Like, the BAL is the best SMG. It's the best assault rifle. It's the best sniper. You can pick people off across the map. And it's just a really good, um, you know, whatever it's called. Really good gun. How did I forget the word gun? Anyway, what I want to talk about in this gameplay is the killstreak setup that I'm using for going for these DNAs. And it's a bit different. I mix it up now and I'm trying something else. So I used to say, you know, don't run any uh, attachments on any of your killstreaks except the assist points on the system hack. But now I'm trying something different. What I run on the UAV is I run the speed as well as the threat detection and sometimes I'll even run the extra time so what the speed does is it makes it swipe twice as fast as you can see it swipes really fast the extra time makes it last for 1.5 times I don't know if I had extra time on for this gameplay I don't think I did and then the threat detection is sort of like this Oracle thing as you can see the enemies are coming up um, on the Oracle which is basically you know the Oracle if you played Call of Duty Ghost you'll know what an Oracle is and I had no idea what that guy is doing trying to jump off the map and kill himself or something but basically this UAV is really OP to be honest for the simple fact that you know it's like an oracle that swipes twice as fast and they can avoid it if they do have low profile on which a lot of people in this game do run low profile so that is something you got to watch out for but if you get into a noob lobby where not many of them are running low profile or even if half of them aren't running low profile it does give away the location and puts them on the oracle which really allows you to go ham in the spawns the thing that kills me the most on my streaks is low profile kids or ghost kids coming up behind me that I really you know weren't expected because you can't trust the UAV and that's something you need to understand in this game or really in any Call of Duty is that a lot of people will trust the UAV and you really can't trust it because there's always a perk that counters the UAV if there was no perk that countered the UAV UAV would be super OP and it only takes a few kills to get in this game it actually takes quite a few kills to get but um you know it takes like 10 kills if you don't pick up any tags but this super powered UAV takes 750 points or 850 50 points if you're running um, if you're running the extra time and I will run the extra time occasionally it all depends on how I'm feeling you know it is kind of risky though if you can't get those extra hundred points and then you die but yeah I want to say all the maps in this game incredible even instinct that I thought was terrible at first is incredible my least favorite map would probably be green band and that one's not even that bad I just really don't know how to play it green band sort of I try and go ham in the spawns and they just all spawn around me and if anyone has any tips for playing that map let me know in the comment section below but as you can see this um, this UAV thing is saving my life and right there oh my god I'm glad that guy was clueless because I missed the punch the punch is also um, really good another tip is don't ever use the combat knife when the punch is way more better or way more better that makes no sense but the punch basically has a lot better auto aim on it it's just a lot better than the combat knife, which is kind of dumb. You'd think the knife would be better because you have to pull it out to use it. That's what she said. But, um, you know, the, the, the freaking smashing them with your gun, punching them in the face, falcon punch like that guy did to me in the back is the most OP. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys did a uh, second video of the day. You guys will support it with likes. And if we could get for 2,000 likes, I think this 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 DNA bomb definitely deserves 2,000 likes at least. Surprise me with 3,000 maybe. But leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Been uh, growing pretty well lately. Subscribe for a cookie and don't looky. I'm out. Peace. Have a good night, guys.